We're discussing 25 secret details you might have missed in the new Separate Ways DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Let me know down in the comments if you guys caught all of these secrets. And also let me know if you guys know of any other secrets that I might have missed to get a chance to be featured in my next video. But in any case, let's get started. Number one. Near the middle of chapter two, if you decide to go to the top of the church, you can hear Ashley crying next to the castle wall near the window. This is a callback to the original separate way since in that one, you couldn't hear Ashley crying, but if you went and clicked on the door in the room that Ashley was in, Ada will state that she hears someone whimpering on the other side of the door. Number two, in the castle section before the Admadura rooms, you can find a raccoon statue in the hallway next to the other taxidermy animals. After looking at the statue, Ada will state, hmm, a raccoon, I guess this is fate. A clear reference to the events of Resident Evil 2 in Raccoon City. Hmm, a raccoon, guess this is fate. Number three, after Ada finishes speaking with Leon and goes through the window in the castle section, Ada will say, see you around, once she's by herself. This is a clear callback to the same phrase she mentions to Leon in the original Resident Evil 4, though it's funny that in the remake, this line is used after her encounter with Leon instead of during to finish off the conversation. See you around, Leon. <laughs> See you around. Ada! Number four. During chapter two, once Ada approaches the church, Wesker will say to her, consider the village infected, complete local saturation. Which is a reference to Wesker's line in Resident Evil 5 where he says, complete global saturation. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Saturation. Number five, during chapter three in Chief Mendez's house, you can find a chicken and an egg in the oven located in the kitchen. This again is a callback to the original separate ways, since you could also find a chicken and an egg in the oven. So if anything, I'm super happy that they kept this weird detail in the remake. <laughs> Number six, after the second Pesenta fight, if Ada goes near the burned police officer in the center of the town square, Ada will say it smells like burning flesh and will say, I thought I left that life behind, clearly referencing the events that took place in Raccoon City in Resident Evil 2. And as mentioned in the previous secret video, the Ganados also state that in Spanish. They literally say, huele a carne quemada. When I first heard this line, it's possible to either translate that it smells like burning flesh or it smells like burned meat. So it definitely seems like the Ganados were referring to the flesh rather than meat, but mind you, both translations still work. Oh, burning flesh. I thought I'd left that life behind. <laughs> Number seven, this is a secret I forgot to mention in my previous secret videos, but in Chief Mendez's house, if you look at his hat rack next to the door, this is a clear reference to Mr. X, since the hat that Mendez uses is completely different, while the hat on the rack is more like the fedora Mr. X wears in the events of Resident Evil 2. And speaking of hats, you know, for those of you that don't know, you can also shoot Mendez's hat off, just like the base game. And to this day, I'm not sure why the devs didn't make this a trophy like in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Number eight, another secret I forgot to mention in my previous secret videos is when your character dies, if you look closely at the end screen, the black edges are in the shape of an eye, which of course is a recurring theme in the Resident Evil franchise. Number nine, when Ada uses her hook gun to close the distance with an enemy, Ada will automatically kick any axes that are actually being thrown at her mid jump. She's pretty much invincible when doing this zip line action. Number 10, when fighting Pesenta and different apparitions of Pesenta appear, you can tell which one is the real Pesenta by looking at her eyes. The real Pesenta's eyes will always glow red while the other ones don't glow at all. Oh. 
Number 11. During the middle of chapter 2, after Ada rings the church bell, the Ganellos that answer the call and gather in front of the church won't attack Ada unless provoked. So you can just walk past them without fighting. Now this detail is quite interesting since in the original Resident Evil 4, if you shot the bell, enemies would show up, just like in the remake, but they would always be aggressive. Number 12. In the factory section right after Ada defeats Dr. Salador, Ada will say finally. Since, as mentioned in my review, this particular Dr. Salador has a lot of health for some reason. So it's funny that Ada mentions this after defeating him. Finally. Number 13, when Ada uses her iris scan, if you look at her face, you can actually see the blue contact lens in her right eye. Number 14, in the farm area, if you shoot the treasure above the small windmill incorrectly and it falls on the gross well, Ada will refuse to pick it up. She'll state, I don't need it that bad, which is another callback to the original separate ways where you can do the same thing in the well behind Chief Mendez's house. Ada will state, I'm not touching anything that filthy. I don't need it that bad. Number 15, when fighting with Luis in the castle section, if you decide to shoot him, Luis will say a new line that wasn't available in the base game. Luis will say, what did I do? Oh, hey, what did I do? <coughs> I also noticed that 77% of people that are enjoying the videos are not subscribed. Bruh. So if you guys are enjoying the content, consider subscribing because I post Resident Evil videos every single week and I also go live. But in any case, let's continue with the video. Number 16, when Luis rushes in the burning lab, the path to Luis is blocked by a bookshelf and it can take a little long to push it over, but this area can actually be skipped if you go to the right instead of going straight and following the path, saving you precious time for speed runs. Number 17, during the beginning section of the game, Ada can shoot down the catapults with her blast crossbow. Of course, you won't be able to do that until your second playthrough, but it's a cool detail to know nonetheless. Nothing personal. Number 18, during the castle section, Luis will ask Ada who she's working for, confirming the fact that Luis knows nothing about Albert Wesker. And this also confirms the email recipient initialed AW in Luis's emails that can be found in the base game on his computer in the lab on the island. This was obviously referencing Ada Wong rather than Albert Wesker, who coincidentally both share the same initials of AW. Hey, who are you working for anyway? You're better off not knowing. Trust me. Well, you can work for the devil for all I care. As long as you get me out of here. Number 19, when Luis and Ada decide to split in the castle section, if you look back towards Luis instead of going off, you can see that Luis points slash waves at Ada goodbye. Number 20, in the armadura room in the castle, when walking past two armaduras in the hallway to collect the silver bottle, you can actually hear breathing from one of the armaduras. Sure enough, after you collect the silver bottle, this armadura will attack Ada. This is honestly a great creepy detail that can easily be missed since Ada also talks right when you hear the breathing. Looks like something goes here. Number 21, in the same armadura room, if you look closely at the inside of one of the glass display cases, you can see that one of these display cases has a staff of royalty, which is a treasure that can be found in the game, though unfortunately, you can't take this one. Number 22, in the island section when encountering Martinico, before the laser room, after turning the valve to stop the steam from going through, there's actually a secret passage if you shoot the wall on the right with your blast crossbow. This skip was incredibly well hidden, but it's honestly so cool that the devs made this little secret skip. I guess my new friend was the result of some experiment.
Number 23. In the village section, if you decide to shoot Sadler's painting in the town hall, the bullet holes will remain even if you return after defeating Pesenta a second time, which is a cool detail since most games after shooting a wall, the bullet holes will eventually disappear. Okay, now for the village chief's house. Number 24, in the village section, if Ada stands too close to the pigs, the pigs will push her. And this can also happen with the Ganao, since in my first playthrough, the pigs actually helped me out. Number 25, Ada's hook gun sound that plays when you use it sounds incredibly similar to the sound that the Genesis tool makes from Resident Evil Revelations. Are we maybe getting a Revelations remake? Now, of course, I'm just joking about a potential remake, but it honestly would be amazing. Make sure to click this video if you guys want to see my previous secret detail video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.